last time on the J May YouTube channel. Back again. Here we are with some more cooling goodness. Uh, you saw the last video. I uh, tundered on getting that back together. Uh, this thing here. Because the CP cooler didn't fit properly. Let me show you what I did. Um, because I've been running for the past couple days without it. Without the cooler that came with the, with the CPU. This is the old Ryzen 5 one. This is the back plate. And this is the... So if you take the back plate and screw this in, uh, you get a part that will go in that portion there. That cools down. It's not as big as, uh, say, this one. We're just going in right now. So uh, we're going to go ahead and put that in right now. I want the chip down. It's got um, some stuff from the last time. I'm not really caring too much. Um, the other thing I did was I slot in uh, the new parts, which are uh, these holders here. And what they allow the board to do is hold down the cooler so I can get on top of the chip. So I'm just looking at it right now, figuring out orientation. It only the tabs are left and right. So if you look at it, it's only uh, this portion here and here that I'm trying to get. So, um, let's see, there is a cutout in here. I'm trying to clear the RAM. So, uh, A and B will go up to the top corner. That's what I'm doing. Because that's where the lead is, and that's where everything's going to go in. So, we're just going to go ahead and push this down. My next point is to get these clipped in. I'm going to double check that real quick. I don't think they are, but I'm going to check that and then I'll come back. Okay, so I went ahead and clipped it in. Uh, it popped in here. I had to use my screwdriver to pop the clip in at the bottom. Uh, not too much going on with that, just simple clip. So it went in. Uh, next, I'm going to plug this into the board. I'm looking at this. It says. CPU fan right here at this first one at the top and I'm just going to go ahead and plug that right in. Okay. Now while I was in here I did find another SSD so I did install that as well uh, and I did install another fan because this board does get warm. That is it uh, also expect to get warm so uh that being the case i'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and that goes system fan and plug it in system fan one awesome all right so my next thing is to fire this thing up make sure it all works and then uh we're good to go uh if I don't any problems, I'll let you know, but I think everything should be good. So, that's the new cooler installed, and uh, we'll get it all buttoned up and get ready to go. Alright, one last thing. Uh, that's that connection right there. It's the LED RGB connection. It connects to it via USB. I have to wire manage all this fun stuff, so uh, I'll be back in a little bit. Um, or not at all. 